Afternoon guys. Yes, my hair is long. My beard is long. No, I'm not chubby, but I feel like a mountain man a little bit. May 14th. We are winding down guys, winding down to the bitter end. Next week, teachers report back to school. Just wanted to let you know that if there's some things that you are lacking, ag mechanics, beginning welding, advanced welding, ag fabrication, get in and, and see me. I've got some office hours. We've got some shop time opportunities for the last couple weeks of our, of our push to the finish line. But uh, if you just want to come by and say hi, I can have nine of you in the shop at a time. No classroom, but just shop. So that's actually pretty cool. But um, I just wanted to say hi. I, I slowed down a little bit on connecting with you guys just because the sun's been out. And I know you guys have been busy because you haven't returned any emails. So anyways, today I've been all over the world and back, but I am messing around with the old D6C early 70s model round tube frame doing some doing some dirt moving some some logging and natural resources is what it really boils down to fisheries and forestries you guys you know we had we had an early spawn some fish are getting caught some big ones set a new state record here in boundary county for a bull trout it was a monster on a fly rod so get out get your get your fly wet Try not to snap anything off when you're casting, but natural resources, a lot going on. Timber, timber prices are down right now, but opportunities are, are up, if that makes any sense. But D6C, cranking amps, trying to start this thing. And what, what happens is that it runs off two, two batteries. And on this DC system, if we do not have enough cranking amps, then this big old diesel engine is just not gonna turn over. So I had to put a tester on it, put my tester on it, and what I found out, I've got one good battery here beside me, and I've got one battery, battery that, is, that is bad over on the other side. So they are in tandem, and when I go to start this baby, this is what you're gonna hear. barely barely even kicks over the starter it's because i got half the juice half the cranking amps and so what i'm doing is just taking that off real quick and i'm going to run into car quest local auto part supplier dean kerr kerr auto supply car quest and drop in a new battery i'm sure this thing's going to set me back a couple hundred bucks 150 at least but 1970s round tube d6c got some sprockets that are in pretty decent shape no not really got some sprockets that are getting fairly sharp so you can see when we get to this point where these are getting sharp right here we know we're getting wore down we want to be about oh probably two-thirds as thick as that to be considered in really good shape but you know what she's an old girl but she's still working you can see that the track's a little bit a little bit sagging in spots. I gotta add some grease to it. Get that thing pumped up and stretched out. This is just a basically a two-way blade up and down. Got these big cylinders here, and this is gonna lift this blade vertical up and down. And then if I need to angle my blade, I come in here a little manually um, adjust. I can adjust this blade manually by rotating rotating these right here so you know it's not the convenience factor that we've all become accustomed to but she sure can push some dirt so as soon as i get this baby fired up i want to give you a little bit of on the on the job training running this thing pushing some dirt so that's gonna be my next video unless something wild and exciting comes up but changing out a battery making sure we got two in tandem, plenty of cranking amps on this big engine. Diesel powered, remember compression rather than explosion. And so all the mechanics of this thing have to operate at the same time. But hope all is well. Get in and see me next week. 
the following week, all the way through June. We got three more weeks till the finish line. Get your stuff handed in. If you have any questions, please contact me. SAE Project Supervised Agricultural Experience recorded in your AET, right? So that when you become a senior, you can push print and it will collect all of your data that you've been putting together. It's a fantastic program and it, um, very, very powerful. So miss the heck out of you guys. Just uh, thought I'd show you a little daily dose of what I got cooking on this beautiful day. Hope all is well. See you later.